Hello everyone, I'm Jumat and today we're going to do two games, one with Pantheon and one with Talia on the ultimate spellbook mode. And I should pick very fast and alt. I'm against the Yone, so I'm thinking Fiddlesticks. Kane is also quite fun, but Fiddlesticks is annoying. Alright, so I'm going for this and that. And in the oh, I think I go for a door on blades here. Yeah. I'm not sure what the guy is saying. How is that possible? Uh, match making is broken because everyone is because it's new. Okay, I think. So yeah, that's the, the fun thing on this mode is that uh, everyone has the same <laughs> matchmaking rating, and so I've been I've been matched against a lot of lower elo people, and uh, obviously you know I went 20 zeros for some games in a row, and it's quite annoying because uh, I'd like a challenge. I'm against Tayone with the Soraka ult, so double annoying, but it's fine I guess. And they have four out of five champions that are annoying. Yumi, Yasuo, Viego, Yone, Jesus. Also, I'm playing Pantheon top with Concord, Triumph, Legend, Alacrity, Last Stand. Features Market Time or Tonic in these room stats. And I have Flash and not Teleport as I've seen some people. So we're going to absolutely destroy this Yone. Won't even give him time to breathe, man. Look at me, I'm going at it. I'm going at it, man. Okay, missing that, bad. Now, I'm probably very susceptible to ganks, but I'll be fine. And after this one, we're going for a Talia game. Also for items. Is he gonna know that I'm ulting? Oh, come on, man. That still went out. That was so anime like That went nice. That was nice, man. Uh, anyway, I'm playing Pantheon top, which, as you've seen, and I'm generally going for Eclipse. We'll probably go Anathemas just for the lulls. How much do I need? 31. Yeah, I'm just going for more Doran, for more swords. And so, generally, the build that I go now in solo queue is Eclipse into boots, which can be... This is the best boots for this mode, by the way, because it also reduces this cooldown. Uh, into some boots, into Anathemas, generally. Or into the shield breaker item, whichever that is, how's the name? Uh, Serpent's Fang. So that's what I generally play now with these three items. Maybe sometimes Sterax, maybe sometimes full uh, full armor pen. And honestly, he didn't buy a single item, so I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that I'm going to destroy him now that. Because I destroyed him before. I think I can even 1 versus 2. It's so annoying to play against a Pantheon that's not... That's not bad. Look, look at him. He cannot do anything as Yone. And that's, that matchup sucks anyway. If you don't counter Pantheon with something, you're going to have a bad, bad time. And you can't even get close. See? He has 5 CS. Like... Good Yones would know. Oh, nice. Good Yones would know how to actually play there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hurry. Oh, boy. That was an Ahri alt there. I misplayed that because I was focusing on typing, but. Uh, there isn't much you can do. Okay, look, look at this. <laughs> it's so broken, man. I'm going 20 zeros, and I'm. If I were to assume I'm against some gold or silver, and that's annoying, so so to speak, because it offers quite bad gameplay for my video, I suppose. But I think it's fun for them to actually be matched against higher level people. Honestly, I think I would love to. If I'd be a bronze, I'd love to be against platinum diamonds even higher. Because I think that's the best curve, learning curve that you could get. But at this point, I'm 25 CS ahead. Two levels almost. And 
he is not going to do much really I'm will, I will probably go for Anathemas just for the lols I'm gonna put it on here and laugh that's so evil though he, he doesn't have ult yeah he doesn't have it why I stopped but then again I play what I like on this mode so I find it it's good practice regardless because whenever you play a game regardless of who you play against is going to teach you more even if it doesn't teach you on micro or macro it's going to teach you on awareness maybe a bit on uh, farming stuff like that he's at 14 cs and i can freeze it and be an asshole or i could just push it and get some plates and at least their mid is winning so it's not a stomp but yeah this game is going to go fast do we speed run it should I try to speedrun it in one versus one? Why did I stop my auto there, man? Ult mid. I will ult mid. Yeah, you missed. You wanted to flash. But... I'm beating both of you here, though. I'm gonna get Lissandra ulted. <laughs> And this is broken! This is so broken! Yeah, he has movement speed. Oh my god, this is awful for them. Like, if I go Anathemas and put it on Diego or Yasuo, it's done. No one can kill me. I will just put it on whoever Yumi sits. And I will just roll it over. But yeah, this is not the intention to play against lower elo people. I'm not that kind of guy. Although, if they made the system this way, I don't think it's my fault much. Oh boy. No, oh, I missed you. Okay. I think I can dive here. Look at the damage that I don't get. Now, if Viego will come mid now, it will come top, he would get a kill. Which is fine. But yeah, I'm speedrunning this. I really want to see how fast I can end this game. Honestly. Because I already made some people go AFK for no reason, because I did this thing. Well, tower at minute 8. So, I think I'd go on a Temas to be invincible, but I also... I don't want to go these boots. Yeah. I'll go the shield breaker because shield, shield, Yumi. Yumi with Janna ult. Christ, man. Okay, I have my ult. And it deals a thousand damage. <laughs> and my Q deals about as much. So I'm just gonna go bot. I don't think it's worth it because, it, again, lower low. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! I'm still... I'm diving that. I'm diving that. They used everything. They have absolutely no chance to stay under this tower. We're getting it. Okay, and then we're moving mid. Speed run. Speed running on Talia is much harder because she isn't a champion that can one versus nine so easily. Oh, uh, yes. Oh. this and let's get this and then let's get that in speed run nine minutes three towers i think we have to recall though i'd like to recall but i also want to alt Ooh, coming to me okay 
one more. And I'm gonna recall here. If she comes close, I'll just. But why? Ah, it's so close. Yeah. Wait, we should double back. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is so broken! Oh my god. I will do a Talia game as well, but nah, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay. Catch them if you want. Truly do. Yeah, he shouldn't die. Yeah, so all nice. Oh, that was so clean. Okay, so I'm already at three items. Yeah, I don't think Yasuo will come or anyone for that matter. As you can see, this isn't that fun for them. To do a Talia game, so tune in for the next video right now. <laughs> Transition done. So here we are into the Talia mid game for the ultimate spellbook mode. I'm trying to arrange here, but it's so annoying, man. Okay, I think I'm against the Gwen or Riven. No, no. So for this mode, when you're playing Talia mid in this mode, generally. You can go for Doran's two potions and tome and a lot of lags. Jesus. Did it just block? Holy moly, this is insane. Let me see something. Let me. Okay, done. Almost. Almost done. Okay, that's nice, good. Oh, they fight! Ruh. I think it's a Riven mid, as I said. But they do win, so... Okay. No! <laughs> I really didn't want to bother much. So, uh, I play with Electrocute, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunt, the Prince of Mine, Cup the Grace, and I also go for something like Everfrost uh, against Riven, most likely Everfrost. But then again, I don't know. Uh, I got the Lee Sin Kick, which is pretty nice, if you ask me. I can put the down, miss the W, and then just kick him through, which is okay. Plus, it's, it's quite funny, I think, to push people away. I'm curious if I can just do wall jump kick. Wait, what? Okay, apparently I'm against this guy. What? 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 That was illegal. I got blocked there. Hell, he still died. What? My eyes. I think he wanted to cast it onto him, but he failed. <laughs> Alright, bad start, bad start. Because I got blocked for some reason in the minions. Don't know why. And this guy tilts me. This guy tilts me massively. Alright, bad start. Let's win. <laughs> that was an awful start, man. I also lose a shitload of CS. Well, I 
did get the experience for the cannon. That's that. But I got massively tilted. Something blocked me there into the minions. Well, who cares? Let's stomp. Nocturne with Scarlet can be annoying, but ain't that bad, really. Gwen with Mordekaiser ult. Good luck escaping Gwen, I guess. This guy with Ahri ult, meh. Oh, ain't half bad. Can go both now to roam. And I'm gonna try here. Yeah, they are fighting into the dead real. Not casting it yet. Kicking Riven into the face. Excellent. Going back mid now. Because we want that sweet, sweet uh, tower CS. <laughs> on the tower CS. And there is an uh, Akri ult onto this guy. But without charm, I'm not that confident about it. I don't feel threatened by it. So there might be a Lucian bot that does a counter roam. And you are, guys, overextending insanely hard. But at least I can push it in. Yeah, no, they are dead. Uh, Lucian didn't roam with them? What? Okay, then obviously they win. Because that gang was bad. Okay, if he wants to jump on me, he can. So I have to back off and get some items. Oh uh, boy. Poor guys. Well, apparently everyone lived. Because I'm against the Lucian, I'm just going to go for the Ludens so that I can break his face with the kick into E. Also, the magic pen helps a lot. So, this is going to be the burst to Leah. Why? Why didn't you go back though? You've seen him for like half a mile. Incredible. Well, oh yeah, they didn't factor in that, the Avriolt, oops. Another plate for me here. Pike can go in probably with the alt, but he doesn't have it yet. I can roam, I will roam. But if Nocturne isn't topside, this can be bad. And if I have frame drops, this will be bad. Damn. That would have looked much cooler if I wouldn't lag. Did Kogma just take into that world a Riven? Apparently she won. Kogma won. Sorry. But I have frame drops, why is this? I cannot I cannot play a game if I have frame drops. Why is it the Riven appearing there? Look what it's broken. Can I close something so that I don't have frame drops anymore? I don't think so. Whatever, we're gonna hope for the next fight it's going to be better. But yeah, the cook the kick repositioning man so cool this mode though i think the map skin is i'm gonna get one more time it's the most likely the map skin to be honest yeah because it my laptop cannot handle the new particles wow this is Fun! This is very fun! How can I... How can I delete the particles? I don't think I can disable the new... New mode. Yeah, no. F. RIP. Although, Lucian with Spirit Rush. Quite bonkers, man. Yeah, it's the particles most likely. The risking the green everywhere. I 
cannot help that guy. Whenever Lucian has ult, he could probably kill me. Yeah, that's a bad... It's a bad fight, man. Could probably get the Nocturne here. Time. There is a Riven that comes towards me, so I should back off. Oh boy, leave me alone. What is that? suppose 20 kills Lucian is not a good thing apparently but it's fun I guess it goes pretty well <laughs> kicking Riven into the face with the listening kick that feels good man it feels really good to have an assassin repellent and you don't deal damage okay now you do <laughs> my man casted his ult into the nocturne W He's learning how to cast it. That was bad. That was bad. Come on. That was awful. me the blue oh boy wow if I at least hit someone else but no there's a Kogma and the Karma in the Mordekaiser ult oh, we can't lose this with that Kogma we cannot because uh, he can one-shot everyone, pretty much. But this is fairly balanced. This is the most balanced game I also ever played on this mode. With everyone actually quite trying, not someone giving up randomly. Did I want to do a kick combo or something? Oh. Oh. You also have a Riven, you also have a Talia. This is insane, man. The greatest play of Lucian. He hides... And Lucian still escaped. Okay. A lot of gold to me for that. Oh, a lot of gold. Gonna go mid, gonna get a lot of gold. Nocturne is fairly behind, that's why it's, it's so easy. But their farm, though, or go junglers, it's awful, man. I'm gonna ignore the karma, even though I can probably kick her in the face. I wanna, I wanna go for the Gwen. We go for the Gwen, okay. She could have cast the W, I think. I think she had it. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, my Vi, however, is a bit oblivious to what's happening around her. suppose it's fine okay and now I'm left alone is this tank Kogma? yeah he cannot die I'm gonna catch him what there might be a nocturne so 
tread carefully. Okay. the kick <laughs> Jesus man that kick is so broken <laughs> kicking out a ribbon is just so satisfying man. and also 4,000 gold for good measure all right okay he died eventually but he got the Lucian. The Lucian went for Gelforce. I think he could have gone for the Kraken Slayer and could have killed him. But by this build, he cannot. Because he goes for the full tank of Mao build. Which is a bit more meh. Isn't it very satisfying to see Riven players die like that? Isn't it amazingly satisfying? I believe it's insanely satisfying. Just gonna get this. Oops, got it. Yeah, I'm gonna try another old combo. I wanna see how we're doing it. Okay, I am actually two levels ahead of Lucian, which is quite surprising. But is this yes? Is this yes that's pushing me? I wanna do a combo on someone like. Push with Lee Kick into my W. Is this guy tank? Yep. I don't have issues with this. Oh. Okay, triple kill. No, I had the kick, but I couldn't cost it. Because she deals a lot with that man, with the whatever, how do you call it? I'm gonna go for this though. She deals a lot with her ult. She pierced me. Could have gone for the Penta there, honestly. But the Lucian, I wouldn't kill the Lucian, I think. So, ultimate E, kick, W, Q. That would be it, yeah, right? I wanted to do it on a fairly tanky target, such as Nocturne, to see how he bounces between. <laughs> he flash ulted. I think he just kills everyone. Okay, never mind. But he's so tanky, man. Look at that! He only have damage. That's, that's just idiotic, to be honest. Now oh, come on, leave me alone. Alright, the kick is insanely nice on Tulia. The kick is the best all that I've had till now. Besides maybe the Fiddle 6 one. I think Fiddle 6 one was also fun. But it's very hard to cast it in sync with your ult, so... This just complements it. Whenever someone jumps on you, you push him away with a lot of damage. So it's just nice and broken. I'm gonna go to experiments a bit more. So I'm gonna go to this bush somewhere. Wait it out. Hopefully no one comes in the next 8 seconds. Oh boy. Okay, got that down. A bit, a bit laggy, but I guess it does the job. 18 kills, got Kog'Maw in kills. Got halted by the Gwen. Christ, how much 
frame drops that gives me two more Kaiser ults in quick succession with Fiddlestick ult in between and Nocturne ult. Of course my laptop cannot handle it, Christ. It's insane. I wanna kick someone in the face. I also kinda wanna heal but... My man plays Kogma tank build here. No. Uh, I have more kills than him somehow. So that's nice. Okay, that was the game, I guess. Quite a stomp this one as well, but I'm dying to the minions here. Am I not? I want to bait the Kogmao to troll him. Ah! I missed. Wanted to push him that <laughs> the evil way, not the good way. Ah, doesn't matter. Thanks for watching, guys, and I really hope you enjoyed this Fiesta of Talia stuff. Pantheon stuff and all that. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.